I've had the great pleasure to hear Rochelle Lamb recite her beautiful poetry and share her experience and wisdom as a nonviolent communication facilitator and educator. Many times since we met, many moons ago, I won't even say how long. Rochelle has quite the following. If you uh, check out her Facebook page, Poetess, you will find that she unites a lot of people creatively through her poetry. Rochelle, would you be so kind to share with us your poem that encapsulates much of what we've spoken about tonight? Rochelle, is it called Imagine? It's called Imagine. Rochelle Lamb. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to stand. I, oh, please I, do. I don't think I can, though, because unless... How's this for you, everybody? I don't think it works here. Oh, here we go, okay. Um... <coughs> I'll just begin by saying that uh, in 2010, I was able to see the film, and some of you might have already seen it. It's a documentary called Babies that tracks the first two years of uh, four babies' lives. One is from Namibia, one is from Mongolia, one is from uh, San Francisco, and another one from Tokyo. And it's a very impressive piece because it really illustrates just the uh, uh, the resiliency of babies and the adaptability of babies and how vitally important it is that they find themselves amongst real adults who really give a shit about the world. <laughs> Imagine. Imagine this. You are born inside a mud and grass hut. Breath fills your lungs. Life. You hear soft voices, hands reach out to hold you close. Skin, breast, milk, mother. You are given a name, binding you to your purpose and lineage. You are firmly rooted, home. The gauzy blur before your newborn eyes slowly reveals the many who have awaited you, village. You are given stories to help you see and obey the natural order, to help you choose right living, wisdom. The natural order surrounds you. You are embedded. This is how it is, belonging. Forest, mountain, river, and creature, everything speaks the language of life, creation. You are taught how you are inseparable from the web of life how all things are joined, kinship. You learn to play heed, to listen to the land, to the winds and seasons, to the needs of all life, respect. Your people help you to cultivate the capacity for humility, reverence, courtesy, and obligation, etiquette. Elders instruct you, readying you so that one day you may become an adult, elder, ancestor, continuum. You learn to speak relationally. You learn to bring attentiveness to how language lives, vigilance. You tend to what matters so that life can be nurtured by how you live your days, stewardship. And if your story is more lostness and tragedy then it is sanity and coherence. You work to remember redemption. Trauma does not consign you to choose between victim and oppressor. You are capable of more human. Imagine this. From your grief and labors, you can craft a different life for those to inherit this world. Benediction. Thank you. <laughs>